Computer Guy, and today we're reviewing this Pile Dual Cassette Deck. I know it's not the best cassette deck in the world, but it, at least it does the job. I have this AUA CD3 Compact Audio Disc Player. Um, if you want to know the model, it is a CXNAGI7 Digital Audio System. Um, and this is kind of like my receiver, and the speakers are connected to this. This is also a CD player, which I play CDs on. The tape part of it is completely broken. I've tried to fix it, but I'm not really good at doing that. I can only really fix handheld cassette players. So, this is the Pile cassette deck. So the features of this thing is there's a play button, a fast forward button, a rewind button, or those are switch. Um, the pause and eject button and the or stop and eject button and the pause button, which I don't really see a need for. I mean with CDs you need it, but with cassettes you, you can just stop and play. That's just weird. But here is the recording deck. This is um, you know, you can record, play Rewind, fast forward, stop and pause, which again, I don't know what the pause is for. You could just, of course, stop, or stop is, made, is should be there because cassettes, you know, they don't like go back to the beginning. It's, it's spun live on tape, it's not like pre recorded on, on a CD, and when you stop the CD, you go all the way back. No, this is you stop in like the middle of a song and then you can press play start it up again. I don't know why there's a pause button there. And yeah, that's basically um, most of the stuff, but there's also a this camera will focus. Uh, I'm not going to show that yet. This is the record level. This is the noise reduction switch. This, this is record CR02 high speed dub dubbing and then play CR02 Chrome, I'm not sure. You'll have to switch that up. And of course, you have a digital counter, which is kind of in inaccurate, but okay. Of course, this particular model of pile is a PT6490, but this is a really good cassette deck. I mean, it's not the best you can buy, but it's good for what it's worth. So I have a cassette, a uh, pre recorded cassette. It happens to be Chris Isaac shaped world. Of course, I do want to get some copyright strikes, so I'm only going to play like a few seconds of this. So, of course, you can demonstrate um, these speakers are good, but you're going to, so, I'll show you the back. The back here has RCA in and out for, in for recording and out for, you know, speakers you have a kind of like a voltage switch here and a oh I can't really see that right there remote system to remote system to amp this is for a amp am amplifier there cable so yeah so let's play a few seconds of heart shaped world I'm gonna Turn down the volume. I'll do a separate review of this because this thing I love. Yo, oh, it just in it inserts tape down, tape side down, not tape side up, like some handheld players. But let's play a few seconds of it. So yeah, so it works. Um, it plays out these speakers. Um, so I'll show you. Um, I'll show you the recording capabilities by recording a um, a song from the YouTube audio library onto a tape. This is a tape I'm going to use it as. I'm just going to insert insert that in there. But your what I recommend for recording is to have a RCA to headphone jack com converter. So you can convert the RCA signal to a headphone jack, so then you can plug it into a phone or other device. Um, 
yeah, I especially wanted this because I have a lot of cassettes. I do have a handheld cassette player, but I also would like a way to record cassettes and as well as, of course, play them in high quality. This is not, again, this is not the best deck in the world, but it is really good. So my phone's all jacked up, and in order to record, you know, it's obvious you press on these two buttons at the same time, and it'll start, I guess, the pause mainly for the record. So you pause the recording, and then you can, I guess that's, I guess what you can use the pause for, or you can just stop, and then when you're done, you can, but the, but I, but I think the pause is much better. Um, for this, for this side, I, I, I don't know what the pass is for. For this side, I guess you. This is good for recording. So you know, I've recorded stuff. I've recorded melancholy and infinite sadness um, onto this kind of dual tape thing. <laughs> My drawing skills are bad. And um, I recorded another thing. I have to show you guys. Recorded. Ninja Tuna on here, a little set, um, so I can listen to it on the go, you know, inside, yeah. I, I make my own cassette covers and all that, um, check, check me out on Bandcamp, I also make music, so, and I have some songs, I have albums on cassettes, and of course I like to buy cassette albums from Bandcamp, this is Dirty Donny Mixtape, and I also have, of course, I feel alive, tops. So, again, let's stop the recording there. Again, this is a really good deal. Um, this is a really good high quality um, cassette deck. And you, I think there's a warranty on it too. There's paint papers that come with it, but I'm not going to show you those papers. So, I recommend the Pile PT6490 to any, anyone who wants a simple cassette solution, if they just want to listen to their tapes again, or if you just want to record pretty average quality cassettes. But if you are more of a higher end person who only likes the higher end and is kind of an audiophile, I recommend you use a old one from the 80s, possibly the 90s. I don't know which one's the best, but I'm guessing the 80s. So, I recommend. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like. That will help me out. Um, but if you didn't like the video, you can leave a dislike. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell to not miss another video if you like my channel. And goodbye.